Hi and smiles everyone, it's Colleen and welcome. So uh, the Christmas season, the holiday season is is basically over now. Uh, well, not so much for us. It's January 4th and we still have one more holiday party to go to this evening. And then it will have wrapped up for this year. But I couldn't wait to get back into the craft room any longer. So today I thought what I would do is work on some of those things that we get at Christmas time. And instead of recycling them, I want to incorporate them into using in journals. Now, we all, that today I'm going to do all about um, greeting cards. Christmas cards and such. We all tend to get some of those Christmas cards that aren't super duper special that we may end up putting into the recycle like perhaps from where you work and it's a very generic kind of Christmas card or a, a, a vehicle dealership that you go to. Just those cards that aren't super special and you know you're not going to put them in a correspondence journal or something like that um, that you instead of recycling because they it is such good and sturdy right cardstock so what I've done these here are actually something I found while I was going through my charisma cards that I perhaps won't keep type of thing. I also found some of these that I had stashed and um, I decided I'm going to use these to start with. And these ones uh, are very generic, right? And I think perhaps my husband had them when he worked for a certain company and it was to give out to people. So I'm going to use those today and what I want to do is I want to make, I think these would make great um, pockets for journals that you can flip up, right, you can flip up and we uh, will cover that, but you can flip up and journal in and then they just lay flat in your book because these are quite, a f you know, quite sturdy and they are quite flat to use for a pocket so um, that's what I'm going to do with these and uh, make some use of them instead of throwing them all away I know it's into recycle but this way they can have another life right we'll upcycle a bit so I'm going to stick to a vintage theme right with these, I think. And I had all these stamps and I just, one day I stamped them out and I cut some out in the evening. So I want to use those. I'm going to keep it limited. Um, what I will use, it just, I find, uh, well, room on the desk and sometimes doing that limited uh, really stops you from looking and looking for all kinds of things and wasting a lot of time doing that. So then I had these papers here that were scraps and they're very vintage looking or, you know to me so I'm going to use those. And then I thought I would use these are mushrooms and I'm going to use some mushrooms on these. So basically what I'm going to start doing first is I am going to cover these okay, with a background paper. And seeing that these are pockets, I'm not going to worry about the back of these whatsoever because they will be glued down onto a page, right? So I'm liking this image, so I think I will do that to start this one. So let's just bring it over 
and up about there. I'm just going to get my ruler if I can find it. There it is. Now I'm going to do these in a vintage style, but of course you could do these in any theme you would like. You don't have to do vintage, but that's what I wanted to do today. That's what I had the feeling to do. So I'm just going to uh, tear these where I want them. And I think, yeah. And then let's go about here and tear this down. I didn't go over far enough. I think I want to take it a little further over, but I can cut that off afterwards. So I hope you all had the most wonderful of Christmases with uh, who you chose to spend your Christmas with. Um, here, it's been very, very busy. We've had lots of uh, company and family, and we uh, also have done some traveling also through this season. Uh, I have a, my sister, uh, she was born on December uh, 27th, and it, so for her birthday, it was a big birthday, I won't say which one, she might not appreciate that, but her her children had uh, put on a celebration for her because it was a special birthday. So we uh, went to that and we seen some of my husband's family who uh, do not live where we live. We traveled to see them. So, uh, and then all our our children and grandchildren came home for Christmas so all in all it was a very nice Christmas but also very busy but it's so nice to see those special people okay and then I'm just going to I'm just doing this roughly I think I might keep this piece because I like that right there. I might be able to use that for something. Okay, so let's get my glue book. So I'm just going to glue this completely on here. That's how we're going to start this one. I think I'll put the glue on here. Yeah, so um, I have another idea, and I'll do that in the next video. Uh, something that we also get a lot of at this time of year and how to upcycle it and uh, hopefully I'm hoping it'll be a quite a fun video but I find you know we get a lot of of material of recycled material at this time of year so whatever we can keep out because I'm not always sure even with recycling, how fast or how much of it will get recycled in the end, you just don't know. So anything I find that I can reuse and make into something very beautiful that we can put into a... Let's see, is that... Yeah, that's going to work. Into a journal, I like doing that. Okay, so I'm just going to trim this a little bit off here, the bigger part of it. And I'm just turning it over so I don't accidentally cut the... I want to use my little scissors for this. I get a little closer sometimes. I don't have my best, best scissors in here right now. I was doing some other things and had taken them out of here. I'm going to get them back in my craft room, room to get my house back to normal is uh, another thing I need to do but I just decided today was the day 
I was going to get into my craft room and all the rest of the other stuff can wait. Because my spirit just needed to get in here. All right. So now I'm just filing the edges here, just to give it a nice clean edge. That's what I decided. That just doesn't want to sit down there properly. Okay. And up here a little bit. So this is a great to do when you want to uh, Get your edges as smooth as you as possible. Okay, so from here, what do you want to do? I really like that. Let's see. We could put a fields note. I don't know if that's the one I want. Over on this side. So that we can I'm liking seeing these the turtle and the bird and the tree. But we'll see. I don't think I want blue because we have this here. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe bring that up a bit. I'm kind of liking that. And then we could put, let's see. How about we could put Journey down here. Am I liking that? Or should we put... No, don't want that one. Okay. I'm thinking I'm liking the... Uh, am I liking that tag? That tag might go nice there. We could layer this on top of there. Could we be? And I don't want that there. Hard, hard, hard decisions. Kind of like that, like that. And then we could do um, a circle, maybe. Let's see what we got here. Then I'd cover my tree, but that's okay. Thinking I might like that there, and then we could put something like that there, but I don't think that's quite the right color. Maybe we'll stick with the gray. Bring that up a little bit, bring that down a little bit. You know what? I'm going to put this over here because I just realized. I might want to put a mushroom here. That's what I might want to do is put a large mushroom over on this side. Let's see what we got. We got this mushroom. I do like that, but I think I want a larger one. I know I have larger ones in here. Let's see what I got for a larger. That one's too not quite to see through for this particular one. Ooh, I do like that one. And we've got this green. Nope, not green. Just going to look for a little bit of a larger one. Those are all pretty small. I don't want these because I don't know if you'd see it really well. Well, you see it okay. But I think I want something a bit different on this one. And set those somewhere out of the way so I can get to the other kind here. Oh, here's a big one. But that's too big. Too big, too big. Ooh, look at this little one. Definitely think that's pretty darn cute. It's not big enough for this one, so I'm going to keep that for another one. That one, no, uh, nope. Okay, I got some funky, 
funky looking ones here. That's not a good one. No. Not quite. That one's too small. That one totally takes over the tree. My goodness. Pick one, girl. I kind of like that one too. Just going to quickly look. This one's a little larger. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There it is. That's the one. Okay. Perseverance found the right one. Okay. So I want to put that there. And so we want to put, let's see. Let's see. We could put that one there. Or would we rather have a label or such? Not that one. I think it's the blue that's throwing me off. I don't really like it in blue. The green, nope, doesn't match with that really well. And I think this color is too much the same. So we have pink, we have some pink here. The green's not bad, and I did like that. Uh, let's see what pink is like. Mm. Let's see, yellow. No, nope. I think I'm gonna stick with this gray one. And then we could do a little one-off like that. I like it. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so I just need to ink around the edge of this. Now this is a uh, vintage, but also very nature looking, right? So I'm liking that. This will go great in uh, quite a few different kinds of journals. It's my thoughts on this one. Oh, it just feels so good to be creating again. Okay. Not that I'm in complaining. It was lovely to spend time with family and friends also. But it's, you know, it's the balance of it all. Okay. Let's get this one glued on. I think I'll use some uh, of my tacky glue on this, just very lightly, but uh, it's a little heavier of a cardstock. So I want to uh, make sure it's nice and secure because I'm not going to sew these ones. I've decided that I'm not going to do that. Even though the sewing would look really nice around them too right but I like to also do things that I don't sew because you know you have that option of sewing or not snowing sewing okay this one's a little bit uh, it's like a, a copy paper so it will work just fine with the glue stick there we go. And then let's get our mushroom on here. Yep, I like that mushroom. But first I want to uh, run a bit of, uh, just dull down the whiteness of this a little bit. With some vintage photo. Now hopefully we don't have, this is not a uh, clear clear. So hopefully it won't be as hard to get off. Some of the stickers I have are very difficult to remove. All right, there we go. That was easy. Okay, let's lay this on as flat as we can. Oh yeah, I like that. I like it, I like it. Okay, where's my little, where did I put you? Ah, here it is. A little scraper, I love this thing. I 
make sure I've mentioned that several times. And uh, there we go. And then it just flips up in this part here. I think I will just, uh, maybe I'll add a, add a field label on the inside here. And we'll go with the pink because we have pink uh, the pink little stamp on the front. I'll just quickly finish this up a little bit. There we go. And maybe we should do that in here too. Just quickly do the inside. So I hope your day is going well. I think I uh, may have mentioned that earlier, but I really do. Uh, the, and the weather here is not our usually our usual winter. That's for sure. We have been getting unusually lovely weather. Uh, we still have no snow which is extremely unusual for this part of Canada. We usually get our snow anywhere from early October to November, middle of November, but never have we... Excuse me, that's a fib. Only once before in my lifetime, and I've been on the earth quite some time, did we not have snow uh, we got for Christmas and then but then it came with a vengeance on New Year's Eve and we had a couple of feet of snow by the time it was done and uh, but this year still no snow and the temperatures have been unusually warm for us it's been really good for all the livestock as they, uh, the, the ranchers do not have to uh, feed them quite so much because they don't need all the energy to keep warm like they do when it's 30 below. That's 30 Celsius. Okay, there. And now then you can just journal on all of this. Won't that be great? Great, great, great. Now, if you were using a card that was written in, I don't know why that's, there we go. If you were using a card that was written in, you would simply uh, cover it, cover the whole inside of your card. Would work just fine. Okay, where are we gonna go from here? Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh. I have this and this is basically I think avocado dyed and I printed on it for some reason I think it was more to see that I could print on it but uh, I think I'll wait with that one because I want to do some that aren't so vintage and more um, uh, nature flower kind of like so let's try this yeah this looks very vintage doesn't it okay I think I'll do this a little bit different than we did with the other one I think I'm gonna mark this on the back here and then I'll use my cutter it'll just make life easier for me so we want to cut about there and there, okay, or quicker. It'll just make everything a little bit quicker. So, I'll cut it about here. There, and then we'll have all of this to still use for the next, this project. Even the next project, depending what we're doing. Okay. There we go. And 
this little piece will work dandy too. All right, there we go. So we'll, we'll be able to glue this on quite easily because it's very thin. Let's put that in there for now. And I'll do it on the card itself again. a great project for today because I didn't have a huge amount of time today and so this is working out to be to work well to get in my craft room again I think I mentioned that <laughs> uh, all right Got that cut a little bit off center, maybe. There. All right. Okay, there's the start of what? That one. And I'm just going to trim this a little bit. So then when I use my file. There won't be much there. It'll just take away anything I might have missed while I was trimming. This one's barely, barely got anything. There. And then we'll just quickly do this side. So have you guys made any New Year's resolutions? Um, I don't do that anymore. Uh, it's just something that I found discouraging more than anything because I seem to always blow it. <laughs> but uh, if you have, I'd love to hear about them. Okay. So then I just run this over, make sure it's all good. There we go. Let's see. Kind of liking that, and that was sitting right there. And I kind of like that. And should we put. Should we put a mushroom on this one? Let's see what it would look like. <laughs> you know, I don't think I want, I think I want to put that there. And let's just look here for a minute. Because I don't think I want to put a mushroom on this one. I think I'd rather put something different than that. Ooh, that's yellow though and that would blend too much maybe. I do like that. Could go over like that, but let's see if we got a we got a blue one here. That might be better. kind of like that there. Put that down a little bit. What do we think? What do we think? I think we need to get rid of that one. Maybe do this one. <laughs> no. But I do like the green in there better. Gonna put, I want to put something else on here, but I don't want to put a mushroom. 
Excuse me, I had to. I'm actually drinking tea, guys, not coffee. Which is very unusual for me. Oh, I got this. Nope. Nope, nope. I'm not sure what else I want to put on here. That is my problem because I have limited myself, right? I have this little thing that always sits on my desk. Ooh, we have a bird. Maybe we, oh, we have a flower. That's not going to work because it blends right in. We have a fox that is really nice, but it doesn't go with the vibe of this one. Ooh, I could put things down the side like that. That's too much like what's in the background. We have this bird in here. Nope, he's not right either. I think I want to put that over there. Where was that flower again? No, it's just not the right color of a flower, is it? Nope. Nope, nope. Okay, we have that. That coming out. I do like that on there, but what to put with it? Okay, and we have a smaller envelope too. I wonder if we could do a envelope type thing here. Let me look at this for a minute. Could put it in here. Could put it like that. I do like that one. Out like that. Could we have that coming out here? You know, we could have, I know what we could have. We could have something like this coming out of there. That would look really cute, actually. We, we could have it this way. Yeah. I actually think that's kind of cute. And then we could have this over here. Should we have maybe that's not quite right? You know, maybe this isn't right because I am kind of liking that and that coming out of there. And let's see about a tiny mushroom then. We could do see hmm you know what I'm gonna get rid of the envelope and let's do a couple of those maybe perhaps this nope let's see about two mushrooms Let's see how that would look if we did a bigger mushroom over here. Nope. So we need to do perhaps another bit of a label that sort of goes. That's not the right color though. This is an invoice that could come under here. Nope. I think what I'm having problems with is I really like that image. I'm liking how that looks. But should we have that coming over top? Nope, I want it right where it is. So, that's 
not the right color. Corresponding to, how about if we bring that up there and that down there? Nope. You know what? I think I'm going to just leave it like that and quit trying to fiddle with this because I like it like this. Because what I could do is I like all of this and then if I decide I can add something there. I'm thinking maybe a word but I will wait until we put it in an album is what I'm thinking is what I want to do because I think that uh, word may look really good on here but we also have the multiplication right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that for now and I'm going to put my mushroom I just want to quickly look at a larger mushroom. I do like that one, but let's just quickly just see what our other options are. Oh, that's a good one too. And it could come out. Yep, that one I want more. Okay. All right. So let's get our mushroom on first. And we'll put our tag on. There we go. How about there? I want a mushroom, and then this can come across right here. Yeah. I'm just going to. See, maybe I want, I don't think I have another long one. I'm just going to see if I had this color instead of the gray. I could put condemned on there. <laughs> no, I don't think I do. So we're going to just leave it like this as we go here. Nope. Okay. So let's put a little bit of tacky glue on this because it's a little heavier. It's cardstock, not copy paper thickness. There we go. Then I'm going to put this big number across. I just like it there. So that's good enough reason to do that. And then I'm going to leave this spot for now because I might just leave it the way it is because it is a pocket it's not a tag so depending what journal it goes into I can always add a word on there if I so choose but I don't think I I don't want to add it right now anyway then we'll just put that a little sideways okay and then I just want to do some inking on here. There. Oh, and we need to do the insides. vintage feel on the inside as well and I'm just being quite sloppy with it that's fine <coughs> excuse me get lots on the corners here so it looks quite old and then we want to put something over this don't we Okay, what are we going to put over this? This might be a little too, yeah, that's too small. It's got to be, I don't even think the round will work. No. So, we'll put another fill 
field label on the inside of this one. What color shall we do? Maybe we'll do a purple one. Just for something different. Oh, wait, we have this. Let's see if this will work. No, we'd have to put it this way. And I don't want to do that. It's not the writing won't be going the right way. Oh, we also have these. But again, it would work. But it would be going up and down. Oh, here we go. We'll put this one in there. All right. So we'll just get this. I'll just do the edges real quick. And we'll get this one glued in. Again, cardstock, so I'm just going to put a little tacky glue, very, very thin amount. That's what I love about this one is I can be thin or thick. There. So we got another one done. So that's what I'm doing today, guys. I hope that gives you an idea of what you can do with those unwanted uh, to save, unwanted greeting cards, Christmas cards, holiday cards, whatever you choose to call them. Then, uh, But it keeps them out of the recycle, and you can upcycle, and these will make great pockets for sure. So we did this one together and this one together. I've done a couple already. So I also did this one here, which I think turned out really well. Very vintage looking. I also did this one here with the map in the background. And then this one, I wanted to use the music, so I actually made it this way. So the pocket and of course it will be on the side right and you still can open it and you can uh, journal on the inside of your pocket and again these are the two we did together I like how they turned out so I'm going to continue and make a few more of these because I got these cards and I'm going to do a few more vintage and then maybe I will do another theme but uh like I said, I enjoyed doing this. Oh, I found my good scissors, for heaven's sakes. And uh, it will be like, again, this is kind of Christmas related, holiday related, <laughs> using up those things that we all get. So I want you all to have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It'll help my channel grow. And I'm hoping to make it to a 1,000 this year. So that would be great. Press that notification bell. And it'll let you know when I'm putting up a new video. And we will see and talk to you all very soon. Bye for 